Hello, welcome back. Today, we're gonna to do a little bit of home shop machining. We got something really different to do. And it's a good thing it's a home shop because I don't think real companies would do this. But I've got this wheel. It was a uh, new old stock for the uh, bench grinder that I'm doing. The hole is too small, it's 5 8 hole. It's filled with lead. And what I'm going to attempt to do is bore that out to one inch. Hopefully there's enough lead in there. And I'm gonna do it on my manual mill. Let's do that. I'm Glenn Nowakowski, and you're watching Glenn Now on YouTube. Okay, this is the wheel I'm talking about. This is the mill we're gonna do it on. What I'm gonna attempt to do is to bolt this down onto the table and use this boring head to bore that out to one inch. Okay, first things first. Of course, I'm not gonna just put this down here and start crushing on it. What I'm gonna do is put this piece of cardboard down here. And then I'll put these pieces of cardboard on the top of the wheel that I'm gonna bore. Sort of using the strategy that, like these here, when they're clamped onto something, uh, it's cardboard or paper that's collapsing before it starts smashing the grit on there. I'll indicate it in and uh, start boring. I'm gonna do it by hand using the mill. These are aluminum. First cut, so far so good. I'm gonna have to put a little bit of oil on the cutter. I don't wanna put too much and have it get on the wheel. Thinking about 30 thousandths, 15 thousandths per side.
Well, as you see, I ran out of lead uh, on the ID, and it's about 820 thousandths in diameter. I have to go to one inch. The only way I'm going to be able to do this is with a diamond. Well, I have a, I have a diamond from a, a surface grinder. If I cut this diamond shorter, drill a hole in my arbor for this to go through, and put a set screw in the bottom, I can then put that in the boring head and bore that out with this diamond. <laughs> I think. I'm going to try that. First, I'm going to cut this a little shorter. Okay, took about a quarter inch off. All right, my diamond, my arbor, it's a half inch diameter. It should fit into that uh, boring head. Tighten this diamond into there. And there's my diamond boring bar. Let's see if it works. About a 20,000 cut. See what happens. Big cut. Big cut. Okay, I'm measuring about 935, 940. Kind of hard to measure grit. But I guess I got about 60,000 to go. Not doing these things any good, but it's the best way for me to measure this. Another 30. Okay, I've got a one inch dowel pin. Not yet. Put another 10,000. You could definitely hear it cutting. Nice snug one inch. Okay. Okay, we did it. I know when we I started out this episode of uh, Home Shop Machining, I said something like, uh, a real company wouldn't do something like this. Well, I have 50 years of experience in uh, job shop machining. And when the customer says, I want that done, no matter how impossible it seemed, 
we always had to come up with a way to satisfy the customer. And it looks like we did it again. It fits beautiful in there. So, it looks like this episode's finished. So, until next time, enjoy. Thank you.